So, hello! What I want to show you today is my newest probe for my German SV500 military Geiger counter. It's a Alpha Beta Gamma probe I built myself and it uses a LND7224 um, end window Geiger Müller tube. It has a mica window so it can detect alpha, beta and gamma rays. Uh, I bought it on eBay I think two years ago and I'm very glad uh, I bought it then because nowadays those Geiger Miller tubes are very expensive on eBay and on other places too. So another thing I got is the full schematics for this Geiger counter. And here is or here are the schematics for the beta probe. And I used them to build this probe. And what I want to show you now is how it performs. And to test it I have here the newest piece in my radioactive collection. It's a very early uh, German automatic watch. Yeah, now you can see it. And this watch contains radium. It's on the hands and on other parts. And to show you where it is, I use my home built UV flashlight. And the old radium paint will glow again under this UV, UV light. And I think you can see it very good. Yeah, it works. So here is the radium and on the hands there is radium too. And I don't think or I don't think you can see it, but there is radium on the glass too because the old paint disintegrated and yeah now the whole watch is full of radium so I don't think I will open it <laughs> soon. So another watch I will use to compare is this which is uh, longer in my collection and this uh, has radium on it too. So let's see how this new probe uh, works. I will plug it in into my Geiger counter. Let's see. And also plugged in into my Geiger counter is this interface here. Uh, this is an inter uh, interface I built for the Geiger counter. Uh, if you want to get more information about it, there are a couple of videos in my channel, so click on my channel and watch the videos. And if you like my channel, you can subscribe. So, now I will switch it on and I will search a position which is the best one for the camera. I think this one is perfect. Yeah, okay, it works. So, and uh, now I will switch on the Geiger counter. So, it picks up the background radiation, which is a good sign. And now I will put the new old watch in front of the new probe. And we get around well, let's say 10 clicks per second yeah 10 clicks per second is a good average reading and yeah to compare it to a stronger source I use this uh, watch here which is smaller but it uh, has more radium on it. You can see the radiation or the clicks are here. 
let's say they are around 30 clicks per second compared to around 10 clicks per second. So that's it. That's my new probe I built myself. The only thing left is uh, to make a casing and a little word about uh, how it works. Basically uh, this is a transistor amplifier, there isn't that much about it. Here is the Geiger Miller tube which gets the high voltage here. Uh, it's around 500 volts and then it goes into the transistor and the signal gets amplified and gets back to the Geiger counter. So, that's it. Uh, until next time, goodbye.